Welcome between these hallowed hedges, Sanford Stadium in Athens, Georgia, home to the Georgia Bulldogs, where they've had a little chicken, they've had a little drink, and friends, it's time once again to let the big dogs eat. A late-season top 25 matchup on hand with a couple of college football's premier teams preparing to square off. As we'll see the number 19 team in the country, the Charlotte 49ers, taking on the ninth-ranked team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. And he's going to bring it out. I imagine he's going to get an earful on the sideline after bringing it out of the end zone and being knocked down at the 11. So the Charlotte 49ers return team will have that offense backed up. And there he is. When you have a guy like this, you don't mind building your attack around the running game, guys. And he's a grown man. There's... And he will be sacked at the six-yard line. Well, it wasn't great field position to start with, and it's getting worse now. The defense gets a sack. They're getting aggressive up the field. They get to the QB, and they're sending a message. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. Brown wants to pass. Steps away. He'll try to do it himself. And they get him down. Well, that's just an amazing individual effort, trying to get back as much yardage as possible to set up a third and manageable situation, right? Nice job in the open field, understanding the situation. You obviously cannot take a sack at this juncture on the drive, so do what you can do to put your offense in a good position here on third down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. On the return, it's Toggle. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. The Bulldogs' offense taking the field first chance we have to see them today. And they seem to believe that they can take big plays away and man coverage by just locking them up in this matchup, David. Yeah, and it's hard to lock down a great wide receiver, but a great defensive back versus a great wide receiver, we got to show that. Yeah, let's be honest, David. Most defenses don't have a dude like that, a cornerback, that could do that in a game like this. But this matchup is unique, and it's going to really determine the outcome of the game. Throwing right. A strike downfield. And he'll haul it in and take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs! The defense just lost track of it. There's no other explanation. I've got to assume they knew he was in an eligible position. Or it was just ridiculously good scheming on the offense. I mean, just an unbelievable job of getting your guy wide open. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the returner is stopped. Charlotte has the ball back. The 49ers offense will return to the field. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. And he was virtually unblockable on that play. You know, it reminds me of seeing the highlights of my partner here, David Pollock, the guy that doesn't like to talk about his own greatness, so I'll do it for him. David raised the bar in the standard for D-line play at the University of Georgia. It was his athleticism. It was his, his tenacity. He wasn't just getting sacks and tackles for losses. He was picking off passes and taking them to the house. He was, he was like the honey badger before the honey badger, but playing D-line all time. And the 49ers will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. 
surprisingly makes a fair catch just outside the 40-yard line. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. Here comes the offense on first and 10 from the 47. Looking to move it through the air grabbed over the middle it's belt and the defense had that one well covered just a short game there now here on second down see if they keep tossing it around they'll go to the counter one step wrap two step squeeze this junior knows how to get him on the ground they have work in front of them on third and short from the 42 from the gun wants to pass they're trying to get to it. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. Quarterback sacks is a trend that this offense would like to put an end to pretty quick. Somehow they were able to win their last game out, even though they gave up four sacks in that one. That was a huge point of emphasis for this coaching staff. And here early in this one, first quarter, they've now already Number given up 19. one. Georgia lining up to punt it away. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. He'll aim it toward the sideline to try to make it tough on the return team. Charlotte will send the offense back onto the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around. Erase. Oh, look out. Inside the 30. The 10. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Charlotte. Quick strike touchdown comes out and jump starts the offense. And man, we see this in college football, so much explosiveness and firepower, and we get high scoring game after high scoring game, and it looks like we're on pace for one of those right now. The AT unit on the field. Smashes it through for the PAT. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great college football matchup. Nebraska is trailing right now, but it's only a couple of points. That quarterback just needs to show the poise of a young Tommy Frazier, and they are right back in this. They're trailing by 10 to Michigan. We promise to keep you posted on what goes down in this exciting college football matchup. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Looking to throw on second down. Just a little off. Incomplete. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop and they can get off the field on third and long. Looking downfield and he needs a bunch. And he will be sacked at the six-yard line. Awesome job by the defense. Not only getting a fast quarterback on the ground, but understanding what he wants to do. He can take off. I got to make sure I got good pursuit angles, and I got to make sure I build rails. I can't let him outside. I got to keep him in the pocket. He tries to get outside. They get the sack and get the huge loss on that play. Georgia sends out the punt team. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He'll signal for and make the fair catch right around midfield. Charlotte has the ball back. The 49ers offense will return to the field. How big is this drive? Who scored a touchdown the last time they had it? Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? Trying to get to it. Just too much of a rush, and down goes the quarterback just behind the midfield stripe at the 49. But for this defense, finally, you're seeing pressure on the quarterback. They're outside the top 50 in sacks per game. They've been waiting to find some more consistent pressure to help them win games, and they're getting it in this game now. Three sacks on the day. They're just simply winning and doing a better job executing up front at the point of attack. 
Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Wanted to make sure not to give them a chance for a return as it goes out of bounds. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a win. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. Lining up from the 34 on first down. Wide receiver shows motion. Might as well give it to him again. The emotions and energy figure to be high all day, guys, because of what's at stake this late in the season. Really a must win for both teams. Yeah, these are the ones that get your blood moving, Reese. You get jacked up, man. They're, they're, you don't have to say anything in the locker room. Give these big speeches. You know what's at stake, Jesse. You're ready to rock and roll. This is when you prove you're the big dog. Which is pretty cool, too, because it's been a long season. And these teams, obviously, are both physically and mentally tired. But you're right. For this kind of game, this is the one you circled at the start of the year. You knew that this was going to matter. There was going to be a lot on the line. Now, it's time to go out and prove you're the better team. Here's the handoff. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Looking to throw. The sure hands, it's Bell. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. We have the early makings of a quarterback duel, as these stats will show you. They fought to a standstill in the first. Let's see who gets the edge early in the second. Georgia coming out with a fresh set of downs. Comes out throwing on first down. Makes the grab, and he will score! Touchdown, dogs! So much about the passing game is about timing, execution, communication, and these two, that, that's a virtual textbook there. Yeah, no doubt about it. And the receiver making plays for his quarterback, being dependable, running the route to the right depth consistently, does a great job running his route, and great result he does it. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive, and they close the deal with a 20-yard pass for six. On the run from inside his own five. And the returner will be knocked down. Charlotte will send the offense back onto the field. Quarterback changing the plays at the line. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. Listen to this crowd just shaking the girders of this place trying to help their defense. And he goes down back at the one-yard line. What a great job by this defense setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting them on the ground. That's why they built the lead. Defense getting a boost from this crowd on third and long. From the gun, the running back has it. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. The 49ers will try to pin them back with the punt. Sometimes avoiding disaster is the best thing. The punter just gets it out of there. And the punt team able to smack him to the ground. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. 
And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. Well, jet sweep pass. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. They've got the big fellas out there, a three tight end look on first and ten. Quick spin on the run. When running backs square their shoulders up, it's when they have the most power. You see him square his shoulders up, break tackles, be strong, continue to plow his way forward, just making it really easy on everybody in this offense by breaking tackles. And fire the completion there in the red zone and set up at the 13. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. Looking to the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Georgia! And a really nice job understanding. I gotta get to that gap where there's a little bit of open space in the middle of the field when I run that post route. QB lays it out for him and he catches it, gets two feet in bounds in the end zone. Touchdown. Now they'll line up for what they hurt is automatic. And the extra point puts them on top 21 to 7. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish it by firing one in from the 13 for the score. Here he comes from inside his own five. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. All right, guys, so here's the offense back on the field again. Going up top on first down. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. Right back up top on second and ten. It's complete on the right side. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Brown will throw it. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. And the 49ers will send out the punt unit. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Bringing it back, it's Toggle. He was able to get that ball up to the 48-yard line before he stopped on the return. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Give to the running back. Sweet feet on the move. They get him on the ground at the 37, but give him 15 yards on that chunk play, and they'll move the chains. The give to the back. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. Off the play fake. Grab near the sticks. It's ETN. And they wrap him up, but not before. He gets enough on the catch for the first down. The dogs come to the line with a new set of downs. He'll come out throwing on first down. Not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Now second and ten. He's looking to throw. Dumps it to the back. The quick out. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. And sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. But I can throw it to them. I can try to create some space out wide, dump them the football, let them make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And they'll push that lead out a little further. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Charlotte has the ball back. The 49ers offense will return to the field. Trailing now by 17, David, this is an opportunity that they need to answer. And down by 17, it's not panic mode yet. Like, I know we just gave up some points and our defense hasn't played great. 
think this offense can still be who they are and stay consistent. No doubt, lots of football to go, but you do get the feeling this is the time of the game where, you know, it could get bad. If you don't score and all of a sudden they get the ball back, they take it down the field and put some points up, this thing might be over. So absolutely, this quarterback, he wants to... And the pressure gets there, and down he goes at the 18. You got to be impressed with this defense early in this game, guys. They've got a big lead because they are getting after the quarterback. They've already generated multiple sacks. They thought coming into this game they could take advantage of this offensive line, and that game plan is working to perfection. The 49ers will call on their punt team. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. On the move, it's Tuggle. Return's going to get it up around midfield. He'll be down at the 49-yard line. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Red pass, it's complete. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Now on second down after the good first down run. He's looking to throw. Makes a connection. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown Bulldogs! Quarterback's ability to read the field is huge, and also the anticipation, the time to be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone. That was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Dynamite matchup today, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Nebraska is down, but they are not out of it. Not there in Lincoln. One of the most special places to watch a game in all of college football. He wants to start this drive with a pass. They're trailing by just four to Michigan. We'll circle back if anything big happens you need to know about. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. They've already racked up big sack numbers. It's starting to snowball, and they are ready to go again. They're bringing heat. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. It'll be third and short from their own 33. Grab near the marker. It's McGee. Gets away from one. Finds some space. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And the 49ers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Finds his tight end. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. The 49ers want to crank the tempo. Brown wants to pass. On target. This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. Pocket starts to collapse. And the defense will corral the quarterback, and down he goes at midfield. The defense has been so dominant up front. You've seen it in these passing situations. That now the seventh sack of the game.
And the 49ers will punt this one away. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. To the ground with the back. And he finds enough running room and he's marked down at the 20. Well, this is kind of weird. They're not even going to try to run a play. At the end of the second quarter, that means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks, Ben. The end of a very entertaining first two quarters of football in Athens. And we'd be remiss if we didn't start this halftime report by acknowledging the sparkling play of this tight end. The guy's like an aircraft carrier out there as a blocker. And then when he releases and shows off that speed and route running, he's almost unguardable. Gotta believe he won't be able to go anywhere in this second half without someone attached to his hip. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Dooley Field inside Sanford Stadium. The 49ers will kick it off to start the second half. Coming out with it, it's Toggle. Gets it out to the 20, about five yards short of where he'd be if he'd just taken a knee in the end zone. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. They move the tight end all over. Keeping it on the ground to open the second half. Getting behind those pads and behind a stiff arm to get it out to the 27. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. On the move, it's Robinson. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. Ball spotted at the 29. Here they come on third and short. They'll try to get it through the air. Finds a tight end. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. Trying play action. He'll take a shot. And good coverage and better hands by the defender to knock it down in the end zone. Now staring at a third and short from the 40. Here's the snap, itching to fire downfield. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Georgia sends out the punt team. He'll call for the fair catch here. Charlotte will send the offense back onto the field. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of their you-know-what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. To the air on first down. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Brown will throw it. Getting some heat. And the quarterback is snowed under. And this offensive line's got to do a better job. Man, you got to protect your quarterback. Listen, this offense is not playing great. they got to somehow find a way to start to get something together here in the second half. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. Pressure coming. And this defense goes back to back sack, Jack. The third down offense has not been good, and add this one to the tab. Another third down stop. They give up the sack. They're down by three plus possessions. Nothing going this offense's way. And the 49ers will punt it away on fourth down. He's going to try to flip the field with this one.
He'll bring it back. It's Tuggle. He was able to get that ball up to the 48-yard line before he stopped on the return. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. And off from the shotgun. Sweet cut there. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. And I don't think they got it snapped before the play clock ran out. Delay of game, game, game. Offense. offense. There's a difference between being methodical and thorough and slow. They were slow, and they got the flag. Out of the gun to give to the back. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. How aggressive might this play call be on third and short from the 46? Wants to go up top. Got it in the middle. It's dealt. They make the tackle, but he's got enough to give Georgia a first down. Bunch formation trying to confuse the secondary. Trying to find his man on first down. He finds his man. Just sledgehammering his way down to the 33. They'll line up for a second down play. The give to the back. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. This running back loves running into the teeth of the defense. In between the tackles, he keeps a low pad level, and he's got some speed. And the dogs are flying down the field. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. Unleashes one deep. And that one is picked up in the end zone. Offense would love to have that one back. Down here in this area of the field, everything has to happen faster. Decisions need to be made quicker. The ball's got to be out quicker. Route's got to be snapped off faster. They were just way too late. And as a result, the defense gets the INT. Charlotte has the ball back. The 49ers offense will return to the field. They'll try the run. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. Brown wants to pass. Gets it out fast. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion. Not the way they had it drawn up. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. And he will be sacked at the six-yard line. Well, this defense has been dominating their opponent all game long. And I think you're really seeing the fruits of their labor on the recruiting trail. They have got some dudes up front. Out of high school, in the portal, and those guys are just wreaking havoc on this offensive line. The 49ers decide to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He gets it away from his own end zone. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Boy, they had that last drive moving a little bit, David, but then the mistake just crushed them. Yeah, and those mistakes are going to happen. You're going to throw the football, you're going to throw the interceptions. But I think I stay aggressive with this offense. I get back to what I did on the first part of that drive, what made me successful. I agree, David. Just turn the page if you're a quarterback, right? On this drive, you did a lot of good things there leading up to that pick. Forget about it. Move on. Play the next play. Just on the edge of the red zone. First and 10 from the 21. And that's a first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. <clears throat> And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Those play-action passes take a little bit longer to develop, right? Because you still have the fake. And then the quarterback turns his back to the defense, has to reset. you got to protect him a little bit better than that. Or the fake's got to be a lot better. A first down sack can be a drive killer. Now it's second and 13. He's looking to throw. 
Release to the back. And he just overshot his man and threw it out of bounds. Incomplete. Ball's at the 24. A lot of confidence in their kicker from here, but they'd love to take it off of his foot and convert the first down. And the quarterback is toast back at the 35. Pretty nice as a defense, right? When you can go nickel, put five DBs on the field and not have to blitz anyone, trusting your front four to get the job done on third down, and they do it right there getting the sack. Now it looks as if they'll settle for the field goal try. He's going to reach for a long one, a 52-yard attempt. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. And now the lead is even bigger. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Week in and week out, guys. You never know what's going to happen in college football. Check this out. The home team is just destroying the competition today. And at this rate, I'm not sure it won't get worse. The away team has done nothing to stop this offense. This is ugly today. They're up by 20 over Northwestern. We'll circle back if anything changes in this exciting college football matchup. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Hand off to the lone back. Danced his way through traffic. Pick up a four to the 19. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Brown will throw it. Fires to the big fella. And they'll move the change with the first down, but that might be it for the third quarter. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. Setting up for a first and ten from the 26. He wants to throw. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for his second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. On second down, he'll fire. Quickly to the tight end. And he might be known for run fits, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. Looking to throw it again. Fires it. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Reels it in down the left side. And he's running in the open. Touchdown, Charlotte. What a catch and run for six. Yeah, nice pitch, nice catch. And listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to. And this offense is struggling. You're down by a 1,000. But I like that they continue to fight. Lining up to add another. Splits the uprights. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finished with a bang, a 71-yard scoring strike. On the move from inside is five. And didn't find much room at all as he'll go out of bounds at the 12. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal. And listen, important is a relative term. We need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. they just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kicker, who is so important to this team. He's going to go down, and he's in his own end zone. It's going to be a safety. You could tell the defense smelled it. They knew exactly where they were on the field, put the pressure on him, got him down in the end zone. Safety, baby. So after that safety, they'll kick it away from their own 20. 
Running it back, it's Reynolds. He's brought down after a good return gets it out to the 31. Charlotte will send the offense back onto the field. Wants to throw on first down. Quarterback moving. Trying to make magic on the scramble. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Line getting set on second down. Brown wants to pass. Fires to the tight end. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? Third down coming. Snap from the gun on third down. Snagged in the middle. It's McGee. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. And the 49ers come to the line with a new set of downs. He's looking to throw it. Caught over the middle. It's McGee. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there. And he stopped from getting the first down. Dialing up a second down pass play. Got rid of it quickly, but it's incomplete. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Unleashes one. It's caught downfield. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Got a man. It's Austin. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. The play-action fake. Fires to the wideout. It's complete! He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Don't see, don't see, don't see. Don't see. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Give to the running back. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. The kicker will try to punch one through from 41 yards away. Between the uprights, it's good. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. He's going to pass. Fires to the big fella. I'll tell you, when you've got a tight end like this, it makes it a lot easier calling pass plays on first down, even if the defense is in zone coverage. He did a really good job there working his leverage, finding the soft spot, and making it an easy completion. Tackled, but he has a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Movement here from the tight end. Leaves it with the running back you got to give the coaching staff credit because they really do focus all season long on situational football with the lead late in the game. If we're on offense, we're trying to stay in bounds. We're trying to bleed the clock. And after ripping off a really nice run, that guy knew, I've got to get down. I cannot get pushed out of bounds. cannot get tackled out of bounds. Really, really nice job. Looking for room. It's Robinson. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. Clock continues to run, and they'll be happy to wind it all the way down before they snap it. On second down, he'll let it fly. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps his drive moving. 
Now on first and ten from the 29. And uh, they'll run it, trying to drain time off the clock. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. Ugga trying to make this red zone trip pay off. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. A shot toward the end zone. And that one's way too far for everybody. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. Right back to it. Runs through the tackle. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll go to the sideline and try to make adjustments. A first down run on the doorstep. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. They've moved it forward to the two. Now it's second and goal. Tries again to get it in. Hard-hitting tackle. Timeout called there by the defense. Desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. If they can get it in here, we could have a thrilling end to this game. It is third and goal. And this one will be stopped for no gain. So this field goal unit has been getting the job done. They've already made a couple here today. And if they can make this and turn it into a three-score game, they'll have this one all but locked up. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. And now the lead is extended a little front. Well, the head coach decided to play it safe on fourth and inches and try to field goal team out there. And his field goal kicker just made him look like a pretty smart guy. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. Charlotte has the ball back. The 49ers offense will return to the field. This offense has pretty much been stuck in the mud the entire game. It's been a frustrating performance, Jesse. Yeah, and listen, you can't be hanging your head just yet. This game's not over. This coaching staff is still evaluating their players. So if you're on the field right now, you've got to finish this game. You've got to try to prove something to them. Well, the game is over, to be clear. They're not coming back. But I hear what you're saying. Keep fighting. Keep showing your coaches it matters. And maybe find... And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback. And down he goes. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Finds a man in the middle. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. The 49ers come to the line in the hurry up. He spikes it, clock stops as they try to rally late. Let's see what they've got on second down. Brown will throw it. Unloads to the wideout. Fires a ball, and now it's picked off. Just a short return, but that would have been icing on the cake. They've got it first down for 42. Heat up them pass rushers, bring in them DBs. That's what I'm doing in this situation. When I got the lead by a couple scores late in the ball game in the fourth quarter, I'm going to rush the passer like crazy. I'm going to put all those DBs back playing the pass. That's what happened. Great job understanding they're going to have to take shots. If we get the interception, this one's almost over. Their work here is virtually done. No need to take any more chances. They'll line up in victory formation. And they'll take a knee, the universal symbol, for we have this thing in hand. Well, after back-to-back -back losses, this team is really teetering on the edge of disaster. They got to try to hold on to the positives, as hard as that is to do right now, having lost a couple back-to-back, -back, because this team has good players, and they've got good schemes on both sides of the ball. Just things have not gone their way. They just need to make a few more plays to turn this thing and then they can do it, and they will do it. Listen, you, you got to get the players right. You got to get those guys in there believing. Uh, this is part of what happens. You got to take a few lumps sometimes, take those losses. But this team's going to figure it out. You can tell they got the right stuff. 
That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.